So there's a third way of um, transmitting more information over um, a certain frequency range, which are allowed. So the third way to do multiple access is the so-called code division multiplexing. So the code division multiplexing, one could say that um, different transmitters speak in, in different languages. Different languages spoken at the same time. Or we could say, or um, for for the other receivers, the um, transmission looks like noise. So the question is, how can we transmit something which is looking like noise, but is only looking for a certain receiver, not like noise? So imagine we have um, transmitter number one, and we've got transmitter number two. And so they're both transmitting into the, into the world here, into, into the same frequency range. And we have got here receiver number one and here we've got receiver number two and um, how can we code this that this is here here this is received as information but if it goes up here it's received as noise So let's continue with the um, CDMA. So what's the general idea behind this? So remember, we have our symbol stream S of T, or I should call this S of N actually. And, um, and this would usually go straight into our bandpass modulator. And so and so this is usually what would go straight through here. So what we do now is we multiply that with a pseudo random number sequence here. And the idea is also that um, this this bit rate here is higher than this one here. Yeah. So, so for example, so if if this is here, if this is here, um, let's let's call this um, a bout. Then um, this this sequence here, uh, if we call this b bout, then this would then then this um, B would be greater than A. Yeah, so for example, if this is here one megabit per second, and um, this one here then is 10 megabit per second, then also we are getting here out 10 megabit per second. So what is the effect on the spectrum? So remember the um, S of N that's multiplied 
with our pseudo random number sequence here. And so, so we know that um, if we have a symbol duration t here, yeah, like so that's one symbol, and that's here s of n, this is propor uh, proportional to, to 1 over b, so our bandwidth. So now, now the um, symbol duration t here is now meshed up here by this um, pseudo-random sequence here. Yeah, so the output here is, is no longer constant or pulse-shaped, but it has this funny shape here. Yeah, that we're getting getting something something like this here out, which is now now changing due to to the PN sequence. So and therefore, so and therefore the bandwidth obviously must must increase and the bandwidth is now defined or determined by the PN sequence here. So the PN sequence widens the bandwidth. So if the if the spectrum here at this point here if we draw the spectrum so let's call this here S of F and that's F and that's our our baseband spectrum here and so that's here the the, the bandwidth then um, at the output here. This bandwidth will be will be widened. So let's call this call this here the um, how do we call this the C D of n, and then through the multiplication here, this will will get much much wider. <coughs> 